Hello, my name is Kim Tegin and I'm here to introduce about Pagoda, which is our traditional building located in Hakusugong Palace. You can go to Pagoda for this route. And I will introduce about Pagoda. After Imjinwa, there was no place to stay. So Joseon's 14th king, Sonjo, returned back to Gyeonggung Palace. He stayed in this building, so its name is Togoda, which means the house where an old king resided. And as you can see, there is big difference with other building. The reason is originally it wasn't palace, so there is no traditional coloring called Tanchong or stately ornamentation called Chapsa. And this Chapsang's role was remove our spirits. And why there is no traditional coloring or stately ornamentation? Because traditional coloring is only characteristic of temple or palace, and stately ornamentations are only for palace. You can see signboard which is located outside. If you look very carefully, I think you can also find signboard located inside, which is written by Emperor Gojo. This building is a reminder of how hard it was for the state procedures to overcome the nation's crisis. Um, but it has its own characteristic. It is two-story building. In Joseon, two-story building is very rare because of our traditional heating system which is called under. To use under, big rock floor is necessary. So if we make second floor, we can't use under in second floor because rocks are too heavy and it causes danger of falling apart. One more characteristic is our tradition door which is called Punhammun. As we can often open it upside, we can make good use of space and in summer we can stay cool and warm in winter. This is where the Prince Kwangye was brought down by the opposition after he was blamed for failure in foreign affairs, as they argue, and for assassinating his half-brother and removing his stepmother, Queen Imo, from her royal position and locked up in this palace, especially in this building too. And then time passed, and historians are now saying he was the pragmatist and really a diplomat once protected the country from war and carried out diplomatic relations between the Ming Empire and Mencus. Because, you know, the last one he wanted was another war, not again. He did not want to flee to the border and leave behind his people either, like his father did exactly during the devastating engine war. Maybe the reason why Prince Kwanghae is now being revaluated as a reader of the nation is because the present day situation is not that different from the one in the 17th century. Nowadays, Korean Peninsula is still smart in the middle of China and Japan and various powers. This is the picture of the signboard which was written by Emperor Kojo. And this is our tradition door which is called Bunhammun which I introduced you before. And for this, my presentation is over. Thank you for listening.